Welcome back. Stained glass boxes 101 made easy. My name is Butch, my buddy the Ravacoon. We both have baseball hats on today. A little bit sunny outside. He can't wear his backwards like I do because it's the whole ear thing. Anyways, today we're going to be making stained glass jewelry boxes. The one that we're going to be making is a 5x8 with a wheeled carved bevel for the top. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by setting up my Morton board. And what I want to cut out first is the top, which is 5 inches by 8 inches. So if you need a refresher on the Morton board, go back to the Morton board simplified, because I'm not going to do a lot of explanation on this. And all of this from side is going to, to be at 94 have inches, but I have 5. So that means I have to bring it in a half inch on each side. Okay, once I have these little hash marks, the four little hash marks, then what I can do is I can lay my bevel on top and line it up in between on the four hash marks, soldering the sides and putting the bottom on first. So this is the configuration that I'm going to be having. And as you can see, I have to make that way. So I've got all my four sides done. Now I'm going to put the bottom on the box. And you want a nice, smooth, even bead. Now, a couple tools that you're going to need, as I'm doing this, I'll explain, is you're going to need an X-Acto knife. You're going to need some round toothpicks. Okay, so we now have a hinge on the lid of our box and it's a functional you can see that's what we've got so we have our little hummingbird flying into his flowers and it's suitable for almost any kind of jewelry so with that everybody's polished every are you happy with this now okay so we're going to say it again be well be safe be happy, and we'll see you on the next segment.